Sim, o acidente aconteceu quando eu tinha 15 anos de idade. Um, 20 years ago, I went out for a motorcycle ride. Uh, the motorcycle belonged to a friend who didn't want to lend it to me, but I insisted a lot. And it was supposed to be a, a trip around the corner, but eventually I went farther and I was hit by a car and I went to the hospital five days after the accident. They decided they would amputate my leg. Cinco dias depois que eu estava no, no hospital, foi necessário a amputação da minha perna. Foi um desafio, mas está é, sendo um desafio ainda. Tem muito yes, it has been a challenge to learn to walk on a new prosthesis, but more than this, the, cha the bigger challenge was to be here and to have access to this level of equipment and this level of service and this level of care because I didn't think I was going to get this. I didn't think this was possible given my financial condition. My first objective is to run with more ease and comfort in longer distances because one thing is running uh, a half marathon on crutches, which is something I did last month. And it's going to be very different to run that distance or even longer distances with this uh, new athletic leg. But beyond this uh, objective, my objective is to serve as a, a role model as an, an, and as an inspiration to other women amputees who uh, will see that it is possible for them to run as well and to, to achieve what I am achieving. Well, this, um, the real difference of this leg compared to a walking leg is the foot and you can see it's it's shaped in a, a kind of a funny looking arc and the design kind of comes from nature when you look at the hind leg of a, a cheetah and um, how that foot has a an arc that's like a big c and what that does is it when the client loads that foot the carbon fiber will store the energy and as they shift the weight over to the other leg um, this leg sort of almost explodes in a propulsive energy force that propels the patient forward. Uh, normally, uh, um, this would cost about $20,000, uh, but because some donors were able to sort of step up and, and help with those costs and, and contribute to some of these very expensive components, um, we were able to keep costs to absolute minimum. And um, we would like to see more people get access to this kind of technology because it's, it's here, it's, it's now. Um, Access is always the problem in any healthcare, so. spare one so that when this wears out just like a pair of tennis shoes you can change it put a new one on that helps protect the, the expensive um, running foot um, this is mounted on a, a polycentric knee joint so what will happen is when she puts her weight on it does that feel okay it'll stay extended and doesn't bend the more weight she puts on it the, the, the more this becomes locked so her knee doesn't buckle um, but then when she gets her weight on the end of the toe it'll release and allow it to swing freely like a normal leg. It's got a hydraulic unit in there, so it, it, we can control how fast it operates when she runs. And then these fins act like a radiator to help. Uh, we included a, a silicone liner with a pin suspension, and that's what holds it on, so it's, it's got a suction. So it doesn't experience in dealing with uh, Take a picture, yeah, there you go. That we were able to successfully put this program together. And everybody smile? Okay, yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Cool.